All right, just gonna do a quick video here today showing some of the gear I like to take with me when I'm uh, catfishing and carp fishing. First things first, you're gonna wanna bring some hooks with you. Hooks I normally use are the uh, snelled hooks. Right there, I'll use either size one or size two, depending on fish, catfish, I usually use size one. Carp, I'll go to a little bit smaller hook. Um, I usually use the twos. Uh, some of you guys ain't going to want to use snell the hooks. So then uh, just can buy your regular hooks. Again, I use size 1 or size 2 normally. And I run these with a leader. Normally when I run my snell the hooks, I'm using a snap swivel setup. And then you're going to want to bring some weights. I normally just use the worm weights, cat fishing, carp fishing. I use the bigger ones. Um, sometimes if I'm doing trout fishing a little bit smaller I'll use the uh, lighter weights also like to use the uh, egg weights a little bit heavier help me get my line out there a little bit further and uh, egg weights or worm weights both, both work great and some of you guys out there are gonna use just uh, these weights or you got your uh, barrel weights type weights and you run these on the bottom of the line you're gonna run your hooks a little bit further up the line uh, I occasionally run that setup as well here's my swivels just use my swivels when I'm running uh, I usually run 20 or 30 pound braid and then I'll run my swivel and then I'll run a leader off of that of some you know 14 or 12 pound mono just depending on what I have with me or uh, fluorocarbon And you guys who fish for the big catfish, these circle hooks work great. I like to keep them on a safety pin, keeps them in the tackle box nice and uh, organized. Works great. Now I also bring with me some extra line, bring some extra braid, that's some 30 pound. Bring some fluorocarbon and I bring some mono. It's just always good to have some extra line with you, you never know when you're going to need it. I like to bring a towel, I like to dry off my hands after catching a fish, keep my uh, cooler clean, just good to have a towel with you. And then uh, I like to bring some scissors with me, it's good for cutting the uh, braided line, any line actually, just easier than using your teeth, that's for sure. Now everybody's got to bring a set of pliers, I like to bring a multi-tool. Most important thing is the pliers, but it's got a knife on it, you know, your screwdriver, it's got all your your stuff you may need, but definitely got to have the pliers. I have no idea. I've loaned these out way too many times when I'm out fishing. And then I like to bring a scale with me, catch a big one. I want to know what it weighs, so I always bring my scale with me. And if I'm doing any kind of night fishing, I like to bring a light right there. This little LED light, pretty cheap, inexpensive, and these uh, right there, little magnet holder right to my cooler. I can aim it up to watch my rod tips with my rod holder. I'm going to show you a little bit more about that in a second, but got to bring a light uh, or I'll bring a lantern with me. And, oh, right there, my snap swivels. Those are what I normally run when I'm using my snelled hooks. Just makes it easier if I'm going to change it out to a smaller hook. If I'm doing some trout fishing, then I can go to a lot smaller hook. Or if I get hung up, break off, just easier to snap another hook on there. Then I always bring my chair with me. Got to have a chair to sit in. Got to be comfy when you're out there fishing. So I always bring my chair with me. And this is the cooler. Bring my cooler with my rod holders. And uh, my cooler, I went ahead and weighed it down with uh, concrete block. I just lined it with some uh, plastic, poured the concrete in there, let it dry. That way this isn't going anywhere if I hook a good sized fish. I don't always load it down with ice and drinks, so nice to have that uh, extra weight in there. And let me go ahead and back this up. I'll put some rods in there. Right here I have my spinning rod, works 
great for spinning rods. And then right here I got my bait caster. Works great for bait casters as well. And let's take a look here. Grab my line. I, I mean, I can pull it. Get a good fish on there. Your pull ain't going anywhere. So on this particular one, let me get a little bit closer. Pull the rods out real quick. So this cooler here isn't flat like most of them are nowadays. So I just went ahead and put a piece of wood in there, flattened it out, makes it look a little bit nicer. But if you... Now, a couple other things about this rod holder here. Right here, you can pretty much position these any way you want, all the way around. Just tighten up the wing nut. Give a pull a little turn, bam, those are tight, they ain't going anywhere. But like I said, I use the uh, white one for this because it has the indentation and uh, that piece of wood in there. Put this piece of wood on here just to sturdy it up a little bit. I've used it without, it works fine without, but I wanted mine to be a little bit sturdier. Set this over here, take that off. So if you have a flat cooler, They also come in black. Get the black out of here. Just put your bolt through. Slide it in there. Put on my uh, piece of wood that I made and my washer. Put my bolt on there. Definitely worked great. Matter of fact, last week I was out seeing a guy get his pole dragged in the water. Had he had one of these, he went to lost his pole. And then if I decide I'm going to go out to a lake or a river, step outside in front of my house here. I take my truck out to a lake or a river. I just attach one to my trailer hitch. Bolt it on there. Put your poles in there. Bam, there you have it. And again, a fish hits it, that ain't going anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and post a link to the website if you're interested in uh, checking these rod holders out. Uh, I'll have the link up in the uh, comments underneath the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll be uh, posting more videos shortly.